Hey folks, I'm experimenting today with brisket and I want to see if the secret to a really awesome brisket is the way I have actually read that Franklin's Barbecue does their brisket. Now everybody knows Franklin's pretty uh, straightforward with how he season it. Nothing but salt and pepper. So what I've heard is that he uses pickle juice. So I've, I've seen uh, Aaron Franklin a couple of times do, do the brisket and he might not necessarily show all of his secrets, but one thing he does do is he sprays down his brisket quite a bit. So I'm thinking that the secret is in the spritz with pickle juice. So I'm gonna be doing a, a half and half, so half pickle juice, half water, and periodically spray, you know, every 30 minutes, every hour, or whatever. So I've got a 13 pound brisket here that I'm simply gonna season with some kosher salt. Get it all over there. And I'm doing this the night before because I wanna get this ready to go so I can pop it on the, the smoker early in the morning because it takes a long time to smoke brisket the right way. So we got enough salt right there. Let's just hit it with some coarse ground black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna wrap this and refrigerate it overnight and then put it on the smoker early in the morning. So I'm gonna go get the smoker, get the smoker box ready to go. So all I have to do is light it, get it going and then throw the brisket on. And uh, we'll see if the, the pickle juice makes any difference. Uh, I got a feeling uh, the brisket will be good uh, just not sure exactly what the pickle juice is going to add to it, but you know, that's why I experiment here in Tom's Test Kitchen. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Everything's ready to go. Start the brisket this morning. Put this fat side up and put the, the point toward the front there, toward the fire. And just let that, let that go. This is uh, how I got the fire going. So this is filled up. I've got uh, Kingsford charcoal on the bottom, and then halfway up it's the lump charcoal with two post oak logs going through it. And then I just start the, the corner over there with some charcoal. Okay, let me get that up to about 250 ish. And then just let her go. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, it's been three hours. Now it's time to spritz with the Half and half uh, pickle juice and water. So I got a cup of pickle juice and a cup of water. <clears throat> oh man, it looks gorgeous. Just give it a good spritzing with the pickle juice mixture. Oh man, that smells amazing. It smells like a real barbecue joint out here. Okay, I'll periodically from now on, uh, about once an hour, spritz it, so stay tuned. Okay, I got seven hours out of that uh, that full load of uh, charcoal and wood, so I decided, I pulled the, the basket out and just loaded it back up with some lump charcoal and another stick of post oak, so I'll let this go for another several hours, and so far the brisket is looking and smelling great. Okay, that's been 10 hours, and I've been spritzing every hour with the uh, pickle juice and water. The brisket looks absolutely amazing, so let's give it a poke test. 
that's the true test to see if the brisket is done glides through like butter no resistance at all oh boy okay I'm gonna take this off and let it rest for a while and then I'm gonna cut into it okay the brisket has been off the pit it's been resting for a few minutes and let's see how good it is <clears throat> oh it certainly smells good yeah, let's cut into this point Certainly cuts well. Got a decent smoke ring there. Let's give it a give it a cut. And give it a taste. Let's see. Let's see if the pickle juice really matters. I'm not tasting any of the pickle juice, but that doesn't mean that it didn't help. Uh, I do taste great flavor. This is, I think I say this every time I make a brisket, but this is one of the best briskets I've ever made. So, I will, I can taste a little bit, a little bit of the pickle juice now, just a hint. I was kind of afraid it would be overpowering, but no, it's perfect. I'm going to be using pickle juice spritzers from now on when I do my brisket. So there we have it, folks. Pickle juice. I'm going to use it. <laughs>